Learn to lead. We make winners who lead. Three parts. That is, already we have discussed the first 35 questions which was asked in the December Mat 2022 question paper. In this video, we are going to give you the last five questions and its important tips. So kindly watch the full video to learn the shortcuts which was used in the mathematical skills part. Also, let us provide you the link for all the three parts of mathematical skills which we have uploaded earlier. And also we have provided with Math, uh, Math December 2022 question paper analysis. Let me also add the link in the description box. Kindly watch the full video. Now, you see the first question. A certain sum of money amounts to 15,900 at simple rate of interest at 6 percentage per annum in one year. What is the value of principal sum? See, amount is nothing but the final amount which we get after the duration, principal plus simple interest. Okay, right? Principal plus simple interest is the amount. And now see here, here the amount is 15,900. So they have invested money in terms of simple interest. See here. And also 6 percentage per annum in one year. See, if I take, if I check 12,000, what is the 6 percentage of 12,000? See, um, 10 percentage <laughs> is 1,200. If I add 10 percentage with 12,000 itself, I'll get around 13,000. So this is not the answer. And 10 percentage of 18,000, 1,800. I'll get the answer above what? 19,000. But the amount should be 15,900. If I take 6 percentage of 15,000, what is 6 percentage of 15,000? I know it is 10 percentage is 1,500 and 1 percentage it is nothing but 150. What is if 1, 10 percentage is 1,500, what is 5 percentage? 750. And adding on 1 plus 5 percentage, 6 percentage. So what is 6 percentage? 900. If I take principal as 15,000 and the simple interest as 900, the amount you'll get is what? 15,900. So for these kind of questions, it is better if you go with the options. And also you can solve the formula. So amount is equal to P into 1 plus NR by 100. So if you substitute all the values and if you solve this equation, you also get the same 15,000 as answer in terms of P. Okay, here you have to substitute amount value as 15,900. Okay, now let me go to the next question. Now, P and Q started rowing from point A at 9 a.m. Against the stream with a still water speed as what? So, what is a still water speed? 8 km per hour and 6 km per hour. Against the stream, they are moving upstream. So, both the P and Q are moving upstream. The speed of the upstream is 2 km per hour. So, the effective speed of both P and Q are 6 km per hour and 4 km per hour. You have to subtract the upstream speed from their speed to get their effective speed. Okay, now see here. If P reaches the destination at 11.30, when will the Q reach the destination? Taken by him is what? Nearly 2.5 hour. We know that the effective speed of P is 6 km per hour. In two and a half hours, the P would have traveled 15 km. Okay, same 15 km should be traveled by Q. And the effective speed of Q, I know it is 4 km per hour. So, time taken to travel the uh, 15 km will be what? Distance 15 divided by 4. So, it is nothing but 3 hours 45 minutes. So, you should know that both started at 9 a.m. After 3 hours 45 minutes, the time will be around 12.45. That is your answer. Okay. Now, let us move to the next question. See here. The entrance of a triangular park is through the vertex of the park opposite the side. Okay. Let us take this as the vertex. And this as the entrance. Okay. The opposite side of the entrance is around 68 meter. Okay. Now, the two angles at the end of the side with the other two sides of the park are 
so let us take it as 30 degree and 60 degree a peppled path is there from the entrance to the side opposite to it this is the path now they are asking what is the shortest distance between the path okay see this is the right angle triangle okay if this is a right angle triangle the side opposite to 30 degree will be a 34 and 64 d that is the side opposite to 30 degree will be a and side opposite to 60 degree will be a root b and the side opposite to 90 degree will be 2a okay i know that 2a is 68 meter then what is a 34 that is what i have written here and what is a root 3 34 root 3 now i need to find out this this height y so i know hypotenuse and also the angle so the opposite of 60 degree is what sine 60 so sine 60 is equal to let us take the height as h opposite by hypotenuse 34 what is sine 60 root 3 by 2, which is equal to h by 34. So just multiply h is equal to 34 root 3 by 2, which is equal to 17 root 3 meter is your answer. 17 root 3 meter is your answer. Right? Next one. The cost price of a chair is 200 more than the cost price of the stool. If the stool was sold at a profit of 20 percentage and share was sold at a loss of 30 percentage if the respective ratio of selling prices of stool and share see let us take stool and share their selling price or in the ratio 6 is to 7 what is the cost price of the chair they are asking see the stool was sold at a profit of 60 uh, 20 percentage let us take 6 and 7 as 60 and 70 let us multiply both the ratios by 10 Okay, the selling price is 60 and 70. Okay. If the selling price is 60, note down that the stool was sold at a profit of 20 percentage. So, one, if 120 percentage is 60, 100 percentage is what? 50. And the chair was sold at a profit loss of 30 percentage. 70 percentage is 70, 100 percentage is 100. So, this is, these are the cost price. What is the difference between the cost price of a chair and cost price of a stool? It is around 200. So, it is what? 200. Here, what is the difference here as of now? The cost price difference is 50. The difference should be around 200. To get 200 as difference, you have to multiply each value by 4. Because 50 into 4 only, you will get 200. Okay. So, 50 are 200, 100 are 400. So, what is the cost price of the share now? 400 is your answer. Okay. Now, let us move to the next part. Prakash started shaling downstream from Kolkata to Haldia at 7 a.m. He started rowing at still water speed at 10 km per hour when the speed of the current was 12, 2 km per hour. See, in case of downstream, both the water speed and speed of the current will add together. Okay, after reaching 3 by 4th of the distance, so uh, speed of the current increased to 5 km per hour if the distance between Kolkata and Haldia is 120 km. So, what is 3 by 4th of 120? Divide 120 by 4, you will get 30. 30 into 3, 90 kilometer. Okay, so first 90 kilometer, they have traveled at a speed of 12 kilometer per hour. So, 90 divided by 12. Awesome. And the remaining 30 kilometer, they are traveling at a speed of 15 kilometer per hour. So, 30 by 15 hours. So, what about the answer here? 90 by 12, you'll get 7 hours, 30 minutes as your answer. And 30 by 15, it is nothing but 2 hours. The total time taken is 9 hours, 30 minutes. They started at 7 a.m. in the morning. So, 7 plus 9 hours, 30 minutes, you'll get around 4.30 p.m. is your answer. See, this is the only answer which ends with 30, right? So, 4.30 p.m. is your answer. I hope you all got few ideas how to approach the mathematical skills part. So, comparatively, the December and September question papers were tough. So, practice work hard and practice is very, very important to secure more marks in mathematical part. See, unless you practice, you cannot be able to score above 60% in mathematical skills as well as 
data interpretation part and uh, we are happy to inform you that the national level mock test for mat 2023 is conducted from jan 7th to jan 15th registration link for this national level mock test let me provide you in the description box you can have it for your reference and also so just wait for our next video on december math question paper the next video is based on language comprehension part one in the next 48 hours we are going to upload language comprehension part one video don't forget to subscribe our channel and also stay in touch all the best guys Library has a wide collection of books and is a great place to read. The furniture is designed in the European style that gives complete comfort to the students. In addition of books, library offers national and international journals, business magazines, videos, newspapers, e-books, databases and many other student support facilities. Learn to lead. We make winners who lead.